Hey everyone, it's Tim from Lonessa Farm, especially in heirloom livestock. Thanks for joining us again today. Today we are continuing talking about our organic wormers and we are going to be making our copper sulfate wormer for sheep and goats. Stay tuned to find out more. All right, here we are again. Um, and I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you before we get started on this video. Um, we are making copper sulfate worming solution for sheep and goats. Now, those of you that know about sheep know that copper is toxic to sheep. Uh, we have evidence-based practice to back this up. University of Kentucky did a three-year study on this. This works well. It's not going to kill your sheep. However, I have to make this disclaimer because we run into these problems all the time, and some of you know exactly what I'm going to tell you uh, and exactly what I'm talking about, especially those of you that have sold livestock in the past. I am giving you very specific directions on how to use this product. I'm telling you exactly what to use, exactly how to make it, and exactly how to administer it. If you choose to deviate from what I am telling you, if you try to change the mixture, if you try to change the dosage, if you don't use the supplies that I tell you, you get hurt, you kill an animal, it's on you. I am giving you the directions, the way that they need to be followed, the way that the evidence-based practice shows us they need to be followed. I'm showing you how to make the solution the way that it should be made, and I'm giving you the dosages based off of research out of universities. So proceed with caution. With that being said, let's get started. All right, folks, let's get down to the down and dirty on how to make this copper sulfate wormer. We talked about it at length in our previous video about organic worming. If you haven't watched that yet, mm, check it out above, click on this and watch it first. Um, so copper sulfate wormer, I know some of you that are sheep folks are freaking out right now because I'm talking about copper and we know that copper can be toxic to sheep. I assure you that this is safe. This is the old way that they used to actually worm sheep before all the chemical wormers came out. So what do you need to make the copper sulfate wormer for sheep? Well, you're going to need at least three gallons of distilled water. You're going to need a measuring cup that will measure out to at least one liter. You're going to need another Tupperware container uh, that will hold some water. You're going to need some copper sulfate, a funnel, some gloves, and some protective eyewear. You're also going to need a scale and a piece of paper. Um, I use the piece of paper, and you'll see why here in a minute. Um, the scale is to measure out what you need. So the first thing we want to do is we want to measure out 2.85 liters. That's 2,850 milliliters of distilled water. I'm going to measure it out of my distilled water container into this, and then I'm going to dump out the excess, and you'll see why. All of this is going to go back into this container. So I have my 2,850 milliliters of water right here. Uh, distilled water is preferred just because we know that it's clean and it doesn't have anything in it that's going to interact with the copper sulfate. Um, I am going to use my glasses and my gloves. Copper sulfate isn't really that nasty in small doses, but we still want to avoid getting it on our skin and especially want to avoid splashing it into our eyes. So I am going to measure out 28.4 uh, grams of copper sulfate. I've already measured that out. I've got 28.4 grams measured out here. I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off of my container and we are going to put our copper sulfate crystals in there. Now this is why I use a piece of paper because you can see I can fold this piece of paper up and then I can just pour it right in there. Okay, all the, all the copper sulfate is in my container, and now I am slowly going to add my water. Now, copper sulfate dissolves really nicely in water. The copper uh, crystals or the copper rods, excuse me, that you probably use if you're giving them to your goats in a bolus, not the same stuff. So again, like we talked about at the beginning, it's very, very important that you use what I'm telling you to use in the ratios that I'm telling you to use it. 28.4, 28.5 grams of copper sulfate. With this amount of copper sulfate I got off Amazon for about 40 bucks, I can make about 100 jugs of this stuff. So it is extremely cost effective and it works really, really well. So you can see our blue stuff here. The copper sulfate crystals are dissolving really good in this. You're gonna wanna make sure you keep this in a safe location. 
you're going to want to make sure you keep a lid on it so the water doesn't evaporate. If you start evaporating water, the concentration level is going to go up, and that is not a good thing. This also tends to look like Hawaiian Punch or Kool-Aid. We don't want our kids drinking it. So you're going to want to make sure you keep this well labeled and in a safe place where no one's going to get to it. Don't do something stupid like put this on the counter in your pantry or put this in your refrigerator. Unless you're at your mother-in-law's house. Ha, just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> yes, so anyways, as you can see, we have our distilled water in here. And I am going to go ahead and shake this up and get it to dissolve completely. We're done. It's just that easy. We now have warmer that we can use to effectively warm sheep and goats with two chemicals, our copper sulfate and our distilled water. So dosages, as far as this is concerned with dosage, uh, you are gonna give 100 milliliters oral drench to all adults. You're gonna give 50 milliliter drench to babies, uh, lambs and goats. You can give this as often as every three months. This is effective, this is safe. If you don't believe me, read the University of Kentucky study that I've included below or on our previous video. It is really just this easy. Um, so again, make sure you keep this in a safe place. Um, make sure you use proper precaution when administering this to your animals so you don't get any splashed in your eyes or soaked in through your skin. And it, that's it. So thanks for joining us again today. As always, we appreciate it. We make these videos based off the feedback we receive from you. So if you have questions, comments, concerns, make sure that you contact us. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.